Hi, I'm Kevin Hill, and today I thought we would do a fun painting that was inspired by one of my Facebook friends. So let's get started. Now with the two inch brush, and some blue and brown, and a little bit of green, we can start up here at the top and use little X's to just paint in a nice little sky, just like that. And you can grab a little bit of black, add that to the corner, kind of darken it up some. Now I should explain what I have going on over here. This is just black acrylic and I let it dry completely, and then I put some brown and blue on top of that. The brown and blue are oil paints and they have not dried yet, and so that's all I've done. Now with some yellow and some brown and black we can drop in some nice little tree indications. These are just tiny little trees in the background. Not a lot of detail here. Just tapping with that brush. Now with the two inch brush and some green and black, we'll come over here and just shape a couple of little background trees. We'll just have them growing like that. Just tap with the corner of the brush and just shape each little limb. Now when you're done blocking in your trees, you can take the script liner and some thinned brown. This is light brown. And we can drop in a nice little tree trunk. Now when you're done with your tree trunk, you can take some nice light yellow, kind of a golden color. And we can begin dropping on a tiny little bit of highlight to this tree. Just like that, using the corner and tapping. Now when you're done putting on your tree highlights, you can take the fan brush and some blue and white and drop in a nice little waterfall, just right here. Now with the one inch brush and a little bit of blue and white, we can pull straight down, right there, just pull straight down and then go across to create some nice little water. Now with some green and yellow on the brush, we can drop in some nice little grassy areas. Now remember to have them all sloping down toward the water because the water always goes to the lowest area. Now back to the one inch brush and some white. And now we can think about some water down here. Just pull straight down and then go across, just like we did before. Now back to the fan brush and the blue and white, and we can drop in a tiny, tiny little waterfall, just right here. Now back to the two inch brush that we were highlighting the grass with, and we can drop in just a tiny little bit of grass right here to push that back. Now with the filbert brush, I'm going to take it one side through the dark brown, flip it over, and put one side through light brown. And then we can come over here and drop in a couple of little rocks, just like that. And now back to the fan brush and some light blue. We can kind of clean up the bottom of the rocks, set them right down into the painting, just like that. We can push up and create a tiny little bit of splash at the waterfall, too. Now with the one inch brush and some green, we can drop in a couple of tiny little bushes. These are pretty dark. I'm doing that because this is kind of in shadow. So keep nice and dark. Just kind of clean up all the little, little tree trunks and stuff back in here. Push them all back we can drop in a big old tree, just right here. We're just blocking in the dark color, and we'll highlight it in just a second. Now with some brown and white on the knife, we can drop in just a little bit of highlight on this tree. Just touch and pull. Now with some brown and blue, we can add just a tiny little bit of shadow to this tree. Not much, just a tiny hint. Now with just almost pure white, we can add just the tiniest little bit of highlight just to the outside edge only. Just a tiny little bit. 
Now with the script liner and some brown, we can add a couple of little limbs that are just hanging off the tree. We'll put some leaves on these, but it'll be nice to have a few. Just like that. Now back to that filbert brush that we were highlighting with. And we can drop a couple of rocks right at the bottom of this tree. Just like that. Now back to the one inch brush and some good dark color. We can add just a few tiny little leaves up on this tree. Just by tapping. Now with some yellow and red we can start highlighting a couple of these leaves up here. Just drop a little on, not much. Now I'm going to add some white to that green, the same green we were putting the grass in with. And I'll just sparkle a little bit of extra highlight on some of this grass, just like that. Maybe even bring it distinctly in front of those rocks to kind of push them back a little. Now back to the script liner and some brown. And we can drop in a nice little tree right here, just a tiny little tree. Now with the one inch brush and some yellow, we can drop just a little bit of leaves on this tree, just using the corner of tapping, just a tiny little bit. Not much, we still want to see that background through it. Alright, well I think we're done. I had a lot of fun, I hope you did too. Don't forget to check out my DVD for sale, I'll put the link below. And also friend me on Facebook if you have Facebook, I'll put that link below too. And thanks for watching.